Your Fantastic Elastic Brain by Joanne Geek, illustrated by Sarah Ackerley. What does your brain really do? Does it fill the space between your ears? Well, yes, but your brain can do so much more. Your brain helps you think and remember and name what you see and what you hear. It lets you move your body and feel both touch and emotions. Your brain does all the things that make you you. So what is your brain? Is it a muscle? No, the brain is an organ in your body. It's made up of cells and tissue. The brain controls everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, even everything you dream. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It helps you think and speak. Cerebellum is a small part at the back of the brain that helps your muscles coordinate your movements and your balance. So you can walk, ride a bike, play tag. Prefrontal cortex. That's a part of your brain behind your forehead. It lets you make plans and decisions. Hippocampus is at the center of your brain. It works like a file cabinet to help you store and find memories. Amygdala is a tightly packed group of cells deep in the center of the brain that controls emotions. Neurons are everywhere in your brain. They're tiny brain cells that make electrical signals to send messages to other cells in your body, telling them what to do. When you were born, you were very little. Your brain was small and not so strong. As you get older, your body grows and gets stronger. As part of your body, your brain grows and learns to do new things. And you can make your brain do even more. Like elastic bands that stretch when you pull them. Even things that are hard at first, or that you don't like to do, or that you don't do very well, get easier when you keep trying. Think about the first time you played soccer. You probably couldn't kick the ball or make many goals. But as you kept going to practice, you learned more about the rules of the game and followed your coach's directions. The muscles in your legs and feet got stronger. Your movements were more coordinated and you could run farther and faster. Learning more and practicing what you learn let you play better and have more fun. Practice really does make perfect, or at least much better. Even when you make a mistake while you're learning something new, you're still training your brain. You'll remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. Making mistakes is one of the best ways your brain learns and grows. If you aren't willing to risk being wrong, you won't take the chances that stretch your elastic brain. You can stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings too. If you're frightened about taking a risk like learning to swim, Finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. It will remind you that you overcame your fear. So you'll be braver the next time something scares you, like diving into the water. Learning something new causes the brain to grow more connections among the neurons. With more connections, the neurons can send and receive more messages. These connections help to stretch a part of your brain and make it more elastic, so it can hold more information and ideas. How does the brain stretch and grow? A word that begins with neuro has something to do with the brain. A sculptor molds shapes or carves things out of clay or wood or stone. So you shape your brain when you make it bigger by adding new things you know and can do. You are a neurosculptor. When you learn something new, 
you're building on what you've already learned. In the same way the muscles in your body work together when you want to lift a heavy object or kick a ball, the different parts of your brain work together when you're learning something new. Amygdala makes you want to learn the piano. Cerebrum helps you decide to practice. Cerebellum calls up the memory of watching and listening when your piano teacher showed you how to play a new piece of music. Then your cerebellum sends messages through neurons to the muscles in your wrists, hands, fingers, so that you can hit the right notes. The next time you play that piece of music, the parts of your brain and body will know how to work together, and you will play the song more easily. The brain that makes you really is an amazing organ. It controls what you think, do, feel, and remember. Your brain is growing very fast during your first 10 years of life, and now we know that you can help it grow. When you try hard to learn something new, connections grow from neurons and attach to other neurons. Then your brain can send messages faster, making part of your brain bigger and stronger. Making mistakes really helps you learn because your brain keeps trying new things and stretching until you figure out the answer to your problem. You're shaping a more elastic brain when you learn new things and build on what you already know. The more you learn and think about different kinds of things, the more you can learn, know, and enjoy. The harder you try without giving up, the more you'll learn. You really can train your brain to be fit and strong and keep stretching and growing throughout your whole life.